Hey there, this is Pablo Vasquez and this time I don't have a tutorial but more like a tip or a trick that I learned today at work. And not started by this tweet by Ray Toringo and says una pregunta, which is in Spanish is a question, Pablo. Do you know how can I do this in Blender? Minute 928-932. So the video is nothing special really, it's just a video about Maya 2015 and has this great looking cylinder that in a few clicks, it's a time lapse, of course, they managed to do this, which is like pretty much like rotating the shape or the direction of the of the loops. I don't know the name of this tool, but I tried to do it in Blender, and my first attempt was um, subdividing uh, a plane and then rotating the edge or whatever, but didn't work. It's a different process. So I wanted to do it uh, similar, so I just took a cylinder and I didn't know how to do this, I had no idea, I tried a few things. So uh, luckily I happened to work with one of the guys that pretty much rewrote the entire mesh system, Campbell, he's awesome, the mesh master. And he pointed me to a tool that I totally forgot about that can, can do these kind of things, which is the unsubdivide tool. So let's select, select a few here. So if you hit uh, Ctrl E for uh, the, the edge tools and click on unsubdivide, it's going to do that. Just unsubdivide, remove the subdivisions in between the, the edges and do it as many iterations as, as you need. But if you do it with only one iteration, it's going to flip the, it's going to rotate pretty much the edges and it's going to look uh, similar to what we are looking here. But as you can see, it's uh, unsubdivided too, so this face should be two. So before unsubdividing, we are going to subdivide first and then unsubdivide, bam. So now we have the effect that this, uh, this video is having. And after that, they do some things here. They do some selection, some manual selection to get some shape at the end. Um, it's like a, yeah, like spiral kind of thing. That's too much work. Selecting manually is too much work. So we are going to use the selection tools in Blender to do something similar. So let's select a row of uh, edges here. And deselect, checker deselect. So that way, uh, by default, I think it's in one. I already did this. Oh, two, of course. So every other um, edge is going to be deselected. So you can go more and more. We need to be more separate so that way we can later select and make the shape like in the video. So I think eight is fine because this means that one, two, three, yeah, every fourth is going to keep it selected. And after you do this, uh, we need to select the edges along the loop. Uh, you can do that manually with Alt, Control, Alt, right click, but you can also just from the same menu, the Control E menu to uh, edge loops or select edge loops. And it's going to select the whole loop. Now we need to expand the selection to select these faces around the edges. How do you do that? Uh, my first attempt was to show us also just change to face selection and then manually selecting each one of them. But when you do that, you lose your selection. And Campbell was awesome enough to point me about a feature that I totally forgot is that if you hold, hold control, and it also says it here in the tooltip, if you hold control and click, you can also do it here in this menu, control tab, control and click on the face, it's going to expand the selection. It's going to not going to replace it. So that way you already have this uh, sort of selection that these guys had. And I think they did some inset kind of thing here yeah they inset it and then uh, we can also do the same of course just press i to inset and then just a little bit there click nice you can even now uh, hit e to extrude cancel then alt s to shrink flatten flatten and then there you have a similar shape let's add this nice set smooth there you go, pretty nice. And the difference is that they have end ones here at the end, but we can also make end ones. 
that's not a problem for Blender, right? So let's just select that row and then Control X to dissolve. And that way you have these nice ugly engons there. And do the same again below, just select and then X dissolve or um, you can just uh, Control X. So that's it, it was pretty fast, I guess. Um, after we did this with uh, with Campbell, he said, oh yeah, maybe I could uh, just make the subdivide. When you're subdividing with level zero, it could do that. It could just uh, maybe flip the, the, the direction of the edges or something like that. But this way it also works and it's a nice tip. So that's why it's nice to keep it recorded. Otherwise I'm gonna forget next week or so. Um, that's pretty much it. This is on track. This is a master since many versions ago, so it should work on 270, 71, 72, and others. I hope you liked it. Bye.